Hi guys and welcome to our channel. My name is Freya and my name is Charlie and we're back with a vlog. This is the first vlog that we've ever done on our channel and it's about our recent trip to Mallorca. We went to the beautiful city of Parma. It is the capital of Mallorca. We went for five days. Five days. Uh, so not the longest trip, but it was the perfect length of time for us mm. to explore this gorgeous city. We had already been to Parma before, so we didn't really feel that need to kind of do all those touristy things. Although we did do a lot of touristy things anyway. We had yeah. a lot of ice cream. We had a lot of ice cream, <laughs> but I mean like we didn't, we'd like been to the church, we'd been yeah. to the cathedral, we'd been around all the museums. So like, we just kind of chilled, which was really nice. There was like was. no pressure. We were super grateful to be able to get away because it had been like forever, it felt, since the last time we went. It's like three and a half years or something since we'd last been abroad. So by that time we were absolutely gagging for a trip away. <laughs> yeah, I was anyway. You love the sun you, and the sea and the sand. You would be really content to just like go to Cornwall yeah. every summer. <laughs> I do love a staycation. You do. <laughs> like an old man. I am an old man, I yeah. I love a staycation. <laughs> it was really nice to be able to get away. Just to be on a plane. It, was, it felt really kind of novel, I guess. It was a bit weird, it was wasn't a bit it? Weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we had the most amazing time, and we are here to tell you why you guys have to visit this beautiful European city. We had our absolute in-flight essentials of already salted Pringles and beer. We had a pretty rowdy Hindu on our flight. Definitely made things a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it was it was a bit much, but I don't know about you, but it kind of got me a bit more in the holiday mood. Yeah, so I didn't a bit really more mind, excited. Didn't mind too much. <laughs> did arrive in Palma pretty late, but it was a nice, easy journey. We headed straight to our Airbnb, and we all headed out for some delicious sangria. We started off our first proper day by going out for some brunch. We went to a Frida Kahlo inspired cafe called Bar Cafe Cota. Yeah, it was all painted bright pink. As you can see, it was just a lovely, happy place to be in to start off our day. We shared some fresh fruit with dairy-free yogurt and granola with some much needed coffee. After we finished brunch, we just decided to go for a little wander through the beautiful streets of Parma and slowly make our way over to the art gallery at the top of the hill. And when you arrive, it's got the most amazing views out over the harbour. We went in the end of spring. It was the beginning of that crazy European heat wave, so it was like 30 plus degrees. So yeah, it was a very slow walk to the modern art mm. gallery. If you're into art, modern art, or just something a bit different, then this is a really great gallery to visit. After we went to the gallery, kind of headed back out towards this part and just had a little, little rest and shade. Kind of headed towards this old fisherman's district called Santa Catalina. Santa Catalina is such a cool area. The architecture, there's balconies and windows that open out and... It's lots of like lovely, like cute little houses. It's so, like the equivalent of a Victorian terrace, I'd say, but yeah. in like, a Spanish version. So we really took our time wandering around Santa mm -hmm. Catalina and taking in the area. We headed to the vegan-friendly cafe, Santina by the Market. Interestingly, when you order an iced coffee, they give you ice and a coffee. Like a black coffee. So you kind of got to pour your own coffee into the ice. Yeah. Which we didn't quite master at we, first. <laughs> well, we ordered a vegan bagel. So the vegan bagel was with beetroot hummus, sandro tomatoes, avocado and salad. And then it was served with tofu scrambled egg on the side. And then after that, we went into the market. There was a lot of amazing produce. Yeah, so we picked up some fresh fruit and mm -hmm. had the most insane ripe juicy peach that we did film me biting into, but it was, it was too much. A little to bit show graphic. You. Yeah, it was like <laughs> we needed to just keep that on from the DL, I think. Fruit from abroad is just not even comparable to fruit in the UK. It's just next level, isn't it? So after we wandered back towards the old town and just kind of everywhere you looked there was like amazing yeah. architectural things. Little it's like faces spouting water. Yeah, it's just stunning. And then we had some ice cream. We had the chocolate and I had limon. Limon. And it was so good. Like the perfect yeah. thing. And like the first ice cream of our holidays. We took <laughs> loads of pictures. <laughs> and then we carried on wandering around the streets 
and we headed to a place called Grand Cappuccino and there's a lot of them dotted around Palma and around Mallorca I think. This one is very much like tucked away and we're so glad we went, like it's very yeah. luxy, very opulent. It was really pretty and we just had more coffee I think. So after our little visit to Grand Cappuccino, we went for a little walk through the streets again and ended up in a place that I thought, you did, did you know about this place or did you just stumble upon it? No, I just saw through the door and I was like, is this a museum? Is this a film set? Like, what is this place? And it was this beautiful perfume store. They had each room was designed around each scent that they sold. Mm. It was like a little like curated, Museum. We stopped and talked to the, the curator or the store owner mm -hmm. and he told us all about each different scent and what they meant and they were quite connected to Palmer as well rather than just sort of abstracts. They were historically Like the historically orange, oranges, like yeah. the orange groves and like the sea, like the salty sea scent. And then we headed up to a roof terrace. It was the sky bar, yeah. And it was on top of this hotel. You had an Aperol spritz, and I just had a little beer. I went to this lovely rooftop bar, and kind of, it was like an early evening. Just a really nice place to take in the view, have a little drink. Yeah. It was nice. It was stunning. I loved it up there. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you subscribe. This is only part one of our Palma vlog. We do have part two coming, which will be the rest of the trip. So subscribe and don't miss any of the amazing vegan content we've got coming up. So for our second day in Palma, we actually decided to take a day trip up to a little mountain town called Soye. So we kind of made our way very slowly from our Airbnb up to the bus station, which is in the north like the north of the centre of Palma. And we stopped off for a nice little breakfast snacky thing. Along the way, we went to this lovely cafe called the Garden Cafe. I was just like, I just want something fresh. Yeah. So we, we had um, a really beautiful, fresh fruit platter and mm -hmm. a nice coffee to start our day. Yeah, and they put a little bit of lemon in mine and a, a little dried lemon wedge in the top as well. There, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, so we just started our day off kind of chill. As soon as we finished breakfast, obviously the next thing on our mind was lunch. <laughs> so we decided that it would be easier to take sandwiches, bocadillos. Bocadillos. Bocadillos with us. So we got some bits of sandwiches, which is um, the place called Pasen and Vegan, where you can buy all sorts of amazing vegan cheeses and vegan meat alternatives. Yeah, so that was in the main market. After we got all of those bits together for the sandwiches, we headed over to the bus station, which was just around the corner, and hopped on the bus up to Soye. Very easy to navigate and really nice comfy buses and just a nice journey. It's quite a small town but it's just really nice to wander around and be up in the hills and mm. just a really nice change of scenery from Palma. Mm. When we arrived in Soye, there was this big market going on in the town. It was a little bit much for us, we were like super hot, so yeah. we went and had a coffee. We had some iced coffee at a place called St. Cristo. They had an almond cake, which was vegan. They did, and it was delicious, um, it was just a perfect little pick-me-up. Mm -hmm. Soye is really cool, it's a town of two halves, so you've got up in the hills where the churches and the town and all of that sort of stuff and then there's a port down by the sea and there's a tram that runs between the town and Port de Soye. One of the highlights of Soye is this lovely cute little tram that you can get from Soye which is in the mountains down to Port de Soye which is on the coast mm. so it's all open air and you just hop on at the top you pay on the tram and it's really nice journey through the fields, through the orange groves, past all these lovely little houses, right down to the beach itself. 
Yeah, I really enjoyed that tram journey. I think that's one of my favourite moments from being in Soye. Yeah, it's, so, it's definitely a highlight. Yeah, make sure you get on the tram, don't skip that. Don't skip that. Once we got the bus back into Parma, it was dinner time, so we went out for some tapas. So we found Bar España, which mm -hmm. is in the old town. We did read that there was lots of labelled vegan on the mm. menu. We had pan con tomate and patatas bravas, some lovely red wine, padron peppers. You had your sherry. It's worth checking it out if you want some classic Spanish tapas. Yeah, we drank a lot of Rioja. Yeah, it just got a bit... Got a bit tipsy and went to bed. Went to bed, yeah, lovely. Perfect for the evening. Thank you so much for watching this video and making it to the end. We really hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to know if you have any recommendations of your own, so let us know in the comments, like this video, and of course, please subscribe to our channel as well. It would really mean a lot to us. Make sure you come back next Monday for part two, because this is only part one of two, so the rest of the trip we will conclude next Monday. So make sure you put that in your calendars, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> you do not want to miss it. <laughs> See ya. Bye.